let's bring the meeting to order. Um, what are we going to do? Uh, do we need to uh, do we need to to uh, approve any minutes? Yes, uh, we have uh, minutes from February thirteenth. So, do we have a do we have a motion to approve those? Yeah, motion so to moved. approve the minutes from the thirteenth. Okay. All in favor? Second. Aye. Okay. Second. Aye. Okay, good. All right. Aye. Okay. That's approved. So move to the uh, let's move to the next more minutes. Chair Charity. Okay. Uh next up was just a announcement. There was one um from the Tree City US application has been approved due to COVID. Uh, the recognition recognition event was set to take place on May seventh. That's great. Um, unless you're is speaking, that now? is it possible that you guys could uh, mute your phones because there's some feedback flowing over, and I'm not sure if people can hear Charity Grace. Just unmute yourself um, if you need to speak, please. Okay, so just letting you guys know, um, the only announcements uh, was just one for Tree City USA. The application had been approved prior to COVID. The recognition event uh, was scheduled to take place on May 7th in Needham. So that's it. Very good. So what? Uh, let me. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, all right. So we've got um, as far as new business goes, we've got it. We've got that tree at um, on um, Pine Street. Uh, that is uh, come up again. They seem intent on uh, on on getting a parking spot there. Uh, Rob, it, I mean the tree is in, as far as I know, is in 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 real good shape. What's your what's your feel on that? Uh, on Pine? Yeah, it's it's uh, nine Pine Street, is it? It's on the agenda. Six Pine. Six Pine, is that what it is? Do we have? Um, I I'll be honest with you, I'm not familiar with it. Um, not sure if we have. I don't see pictures in there either. Do how we did, have any how input? Did that get on the agenda? Is there? Do you know if we have uh, input, Charity Grace, from Dale? Let me check really quick. Okay. So this is the application. I have a digital one. I do not see anything uh, on my end from Dale. All right, so you said nine pine. Six it's either pine? six. I don't have. I don't have the agenda in front of me. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I got it here. Um, six pine. Six pine. Sycamore maple. Um, in order to install off-street parking space. Yep. All right. It, it would be nice if the if the HDC uh, uh, takes a look at these spots and uh, and approve and, and, and bases their approval on uh, you know what's in the way. Norm, you know, I'm going to try to pull up the Google Earth on this. I'm sorry, I didn't see it before the meeting. I literally got back from vacation yesterday, but um, the 
usually if there's an, a parking issue or even a curb cut review, it's something that we look at, yeah. whether it's a tr uh, tree impact or not. And if it affects parking, it goes before traffic safety, uh, before it, uh, if it's going to eliminate any on-street parking, it's got to get approval by the select board. Yeah, they, I think the parking is across the street. That it's, I think the, the house is, I think, right at the corner of Lucretia Mott Lane and, and, and Pine Street, I think. One of those tiny streets that come down from like the Barnacle Inn. Yep. Oh, okay. So it looks like it's between Pine Street and Traders Lane. Okay, that could, mm, no. Well, maybe. Traders Lane is, I thought that ran parallel with Pine Street. It does. So I'm saying the property runs between the two? No, um, no. It's the, the off street parking from Pine Street would be just down this, you know, uh, stone's throw from Judith Chase. <clears throat> that's it. That's where, that's, that's the street. Yep. Um, yeah, let me pull up the Google map. If we have it, I don't know if we have coverage for Google in that stretch. I mean, they, they certainly could have a, have a, uh, uh, we could have a hearing on it, but I, you know, as Sycamore Maples go, I mean, I'm not crazy about Sycamore Maples, but it's, it's a Sycamore Maple. It's in, 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 in good shape. It's, it's probably about 25 years old. So somewhere around that. Yep. I think we're in luck. We have uh, Google Earth coverage. So, okay. Um, It looks like there's a curb cut there already with a vehicle parked in the driveway and there's a sycamore maple right next to the right next to the uh, vehicle but the vehicle's very small yeah this unfortunately this kind of a off angle view of the vehicle it looks like they probably have like a jeep parked in the parking lot Yep. Um, but the tree itself appears to be healthy and outside of the utility lines for the most part. It's uh, set back off the road. Yes, it is. Yep. It's, it's behind the back of the sidewalk by a good five feet, looks like. Yep. Um, if my memory serves me correctly. I mean, it looks healthy. Yep. Um, the shade is probably <clears throat> contributing to the moss on the adjacent small little structure, but um, doesn't look like there's any large limbs or anything that are threatening a house or anything like that. I mean, I've looked at it, I've looked at it several times and- uh, Yeah, it's super you know, healthy. I, it, it looked like it was a healthy tree. Yep. And it, it certainly makes a spot there right at the corner. So, and there, if they put it in a parking spot, there's no place to put another tree if they want to expand the parking area. I mean, it, from my my way of thinking, they've uh, you know they bought the house without without off street parking. No, you know? I, I would I would uh, disagree, Dave. I think that there's already a curb cut with a parking space. Yeah, I'm wondering if they've done the curb cut already. No, this no. this has definitely been there. Okay, fine. Um, so, I I just I think what's going on is it's probably not large enough for whatever vehicle they're currently driving. Well, um, because like I said, there's a 
there's a Jeep with a cover on it that's parked in the driveway in, in, yep. on Google Earth. Yep. Probably just doesn't, it's not wide enough for them currently. Yep. Well. But uh, there's- What does everybody else think? I agree with Dave. I, I don't think that it needs to be removed. John? I know exactly which sycamore maple you're referring to. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful tree in good shape, but I'd hate to see it go, but is there anything we can do? I guess is my question. What's the next step to preventing it from going? Well, I mean, we just, I think we, we, we tell them that they've got to, they can, they, they, they certainly have, have a right to have a hearing about the thing, but I think, I think speaking for the, for the, for the committee, I would, you know, recommend uh, le retaining the tree in its present location and expanding the parking areas. You know, there's, there's, there's really no spot to, to plant the tree on that property makes a statement there and it's in good shape and, and, and it should stay. They have, they have parking, obviously. They just yeah. want more. Ben? Ben, you, you have a comment? Uh, it looks like been left. Uh oh, that's not good. Someone's muted. There, there he is. Okay, there he is. Ben, you have a comment? Uh, I don't. I was just. I had to dial back in. Can you all hear me? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Talking okay. about the the, the yeah. sycamore maple on Pine Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that um, my comment on it is uh, anytime somebody hears the word sycamore maple, they think, they think it's, you know, a tree that's expendable and um, they can get some movement from us on it. And um, I think we have to take these on a case by case basis. And if a sycamore maple is uh, in a good shape and it's healthy and it's providing some, uh, um, you know, benef beneficial um, uh, uh, something beneficial to the streetscape. I think we uh, we keep it like we would any other tree. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, no, I, I, think I, I, think yeah, I think I'd vote to keep it. Okay. So I think we're I think we're all in agreement. I don't think. Um, do we have, need a motion on this, or Rob, or what do you think? I think that I. The request came from whom, Charity Grace? Did it come from HTC or from the homeowner? Sounds like it was from the homeowner. Um, I'm going to have to confirm, but I'm pretty sure this is the, the homeowner. We, I don't think we've received a request from HTC. Okay. So I would say that based on the information that's been submitted to date, uh, the tree committee uh, we could we can issue a letter back to them uh, simply stating that the tree committee is not interested or is interested in retaining the sycamore maple um, if further action is requested uh, suggest that they uh, file for a, a formal hearing about the tree that that would be the next step and then we could send them a copy of the chapter and verse from the bylaws. Yep. I think they're aware of it. All right. What, what else, what else is, uh, that was, that was a one, one loan thing and then a new business. Um, uh, seems to me we've kicked off a few things in old business that are still, still on the, uh, still on the agenda. Okay. Like which, which ones make it get those off? Again, I don't have the, unfortunately, I don't have the in front of me. 
Can I mention one from old business that came up again? Sure. Yep. That is that the uh, is that the um, the tree on on Union Street? Yeah. Uh, that, that's one I wanted to mention, and the, the second one I wanted to mention was uh, the homeowners on Westchester uh, that wanted to take down um, a few trees right next to the DPW property or the town property. Yeah, what's the, yeah, what is the status of all of that? The status is that the trees are still there. Yep. Uh, the homeowners are waiting for the DPW to remove those trees. And they would like to plant privet, um, I think, on the town, the town property. I think, I think we, I think everybody was in agreement that, the, that, that, that taking those trees down was not a problem. Right. Correct? Correct. So, I think it's just a part, just a, a question of getting on the schedule. Yes, Rob. I would say so. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I'm not familiar with that specific location. How long ago was that? Last, I think it was last fall. Didn't we look at it last fall? Yeah, last. It would have been November, December. Um, it was probably. It was on the. It, it's on the agenda. Because it was a it was a presentation at one of our meetings. Okay. Well, I would say we would put that. It should be a work order. Like we can have Charity Grace check the status of the service request or the work order for that. If there's any actionable tree tree uh, trimming or cutting um, from the from the tree committee. I would say that those should be already entered as work order. So we could just um, add that to an update for next meeting on uh, status of action items from previous meetings on on these trees. You know, a lot of a lot of what we're doing with the committees now are just playing catch up with uh, status updates of what we had decided and started to. Uh, Put together plans for right before COVID, so that'd be a good place to start. Yep. Yeah, there was the trees on that property are they? They're not. They're not. You know, they're just junk. It was just junk trees, really. That's. Uh, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Yeah. A controversy. So Rob, this is Jeff here. Um, if there is not a work order on that specific project, uh, we'll talk about it at the next meeting or you'll create a work order. We will uh, create a work order based on a previous vote. And we can give a status of that at the next meeting. Okay. Whether, okay. That is, whether that's uh, been carried out or still uh, outstanding. Okay. So uh, the tree on, on Union Street is, is rearing its head again. The... That's what I hear from um, Liz Coffin. What's what? What do you what do you hear? Uh, Liz just said that they are uh, submitting uh, submitting some plans again and just going to be re, re going through the same process. I, so I, I, I just wanted that to be an alert for all of us to, yep. to watch this as, as it goes forward and, um, and squash it if, if possible. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't see what they could do there. Um, I mean, they've already been turned down by the zoning board of appeals. So is there any way, Dave, if we, we can uh, put some permanent restrictions on that lot? I, I think we could send a letter to the HD. Well, it wouldn't be the H. Well, it would be the HDC. It would be the building department as well. Uh, that that they should, I think we should we should notify them in writing that we're we're absolutely opposed to to any any um, any damage to that tree, uh, given the the size of the lot. Um, it it pro precludes any kind of any kind of work that could be done on that lot that wouldn't that wouldn't damage the tree I mean, 
Is something. that a letter that that staff would write, Rob? Um, I mean, the the committee's already ruled on this, I believe, at a previous. Yeah. yeah. I, I would. I mean, I, I don't know what could possibly uh, come up. What is? Do you know anything, uh, Chair Grace? I did receive a call uh, after we had already um, finalized the agenda. Um, but there is a concerned uh, neighbor which is very concerned about that tree that be left alone stay in its current state. He also was aware that I guess someone's trying to build on that lot. So, is there another? Is there been a move to take further or different action? We'd, I think we got to play that by ear, but I, I think uh, it would be maybe a good thing to be proactive on this and uh, and maybe send send the building department a, a letter uh, stating that we understand that there that the, the owners of that property are possibly resubmitting plans yep. uh, that we would absolutely be opposed to. Um, um, yeah, I think I think getting it on file makes a lot of sense and it actually brings up a good point about um, who at uh, plus we should be contacting uh, when we when the committee makes decisions who this who those decisions are distributed to um, you know, certainly the select board should be one um, but maybe the uh, plus department is another. Yep. Just to make sure they're in the loop on that. Thank you. All right. So, uh, what else? Uh, anything? A couple things um, I'd like to bring up, just having to do with the uh, the tree credit. Um, system we went through i'm just looking for an email um the uh drive-in theater uh nantucket dreamland uh, approached the town and the land bank um to construct the drive-in theater out at uh, nobody Air fields um there is a number of trees that were planted around the parking lot when the facility was built. So it's land bank property with town improvements. Um, I think the current situation is that the town lease has a long-term lease out there. Um, the long and short of it was that the trees when they were initially planted were not protected and the deer uh, really uh, did some damage to them. They were subsequently wrapped with a steel mesh fencing that had uh, begun to girdle the trees. And when that was discovered recently, uh, those were removed and some loose uh, plastic uh, mesh was placed on those to replace them. But what we noticed was a lot of them were rotting on the inside, they, they were still showing signs of life, but they were really declined. Uh, with, I've talked about it at a previous meeting where uh, it's, and it's all one species and I forget what they are, but uh, we were hoping to, um, you know, spend some money and time replacing some of these trees over time. So the long and short of it is that the um, Dreamland came in to, to um, build the dr uh, drive-in theater screen. And to do that, uh, needed to take one of these trees out. So we negotiated with them uh, to basically uh, pay into the tree credit program. The tree was removed and we received a credit at Surfing Hydrangea. 
uh, for future purchase and plantings, but it's uh, to the benefit of the DPW for $2,250, $2,250. Very good. So that was based on the um, um, two for one calculation uh, and the um, number of inches uh, diameter breast height of the existing tree. So uh, one thing I just was talking with uh, Hannah and Nicole here in the office about and something that we should be tacking to future future agendas uh, will be uh, the actual summary of those various credits that exist at uh, Island nurseries uh, for the benefit of DPW just so we uh, you know have a, a fair accounting of that and can start to um, plan on how to spend that and also uh, we're putting together that nine thousand dollar request uh, for uh, our application to the garden club uh, for uh, again for the benefit of DPW for future plantings and so I think part of what I would challenge the committee to do is to spend some time this summer uh, really making some efforts to um, determine where we want to do some plantings and what kind of species so that we can start to plan uh, when planting is appropriate. Also on that light, just as a reminder, the, the, the tree uh, the tree fund, uh, you know, there's still a credit at Surf and I Dranger. I think, I want to say it's $6,500. It's somewhere around that. That's, that's an ongoing credit to the benefit of, uh, of, of the town uh, that, that you can access if, if uh, you know, when the, when the time comes. So okay. don't forget that, that, that there is a credit there. You should, uh, you should find, I, I, get, I get a statement every so often. So I, I, I uh, you ought to look into that. Yep. So you know I know that, that we have credits that are available too. We definitely have credits at a couple of different places. Yep. So um, we'll put, pull all that together and then we'll just be able to track it from there. Yep. Good. Um, you said you had one other thing, Rob? Um, I don't know if it was discussed at the last meeting, but um, Will DeLerva uh, has moved on. Uh, we talked about it just before the meeting. Uh, yep. Will was uh, uh, basically poached from us by a um, Canadian billionaire on the island who's uh, in need of a, a landscaper or a head gardener. So uh, hats off to Will. Yep. Um, I did well. I let him know before he left, though, that uh, we're, we're going to need him on the committee. Yep. So. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I think that that was all I had. Okay. All right. Any anybody else have anything? Dad. All right. I think we're good. Great. Um, I will. I uh, sorry. Let me add one last thing. Is I'm looking at my calendar. I believe it's next Tuesday. Yeah, next Tuesday, I'm actually going to be meeting with um, some people, some folks in the Upper Main Street section again to talk about streetscape and reconstruction. And uh, Dave, if you are interested in available, or Ben, if you are interested in available, it'd be great to have yep. you along. Um, or just someone that I could follow up with. Um, sure. yep. I want to get some input with uh, with regard to tree protection along some of the sidewalk work that's planned or will be planned. And I think what would be really helpful, I was thinking about it more, what would be really helpful for me is to find a location where we could actually test out some of the techniques that we're yeah. hoping, hoping to use uh, island-wide 
but, but particularly in the downtown. So in your travels, if you see a spot uh, that you think would be a place where we could, um, you know, excavate and take a look at um, applying a, a technique or two uh, to some tree roots and then putting the sidewalk back. Uh, I think that would be really helpful to document so that we can uh, defend uh, the techniques that we're planning to use and will continue to use, uh, hopefully successfully, uh, through any yep. of the construction work. Yep, yep. Can you hear me all right, Rob? I can. Okay, yeah, I'm happy to, I'd, I'd be happy to uh, be part of, you know, any sort of meeting and uh, we can, you know, test out some of these techniques with the air spade and maybe try to get some version of the structural soil that, you know, I had mentioned, yep. but yeah. Okay. Is it going to be an outdoor meeting or a Zoom meeting, Rob? Yeah, this will be outdoors. Where? Let us know when and where. Tuesday late morning. Um, I, I would say the best thing to do is uh, probably swing out to my office at uh, about ten o'clock, ten thirty. Is this Tuesday next? Yep. The twenty-first, okay. correct? Uh, sorry, the fourteenth. Fourteenth. Around 10.30? Yeah. Okay. I'll make a note. All right, thank you. Okay. That's all I had. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good to see you all. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye now. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What? Okay. You have to adjourn the meeting. Oh, okay. oh, it has to be officially adjourned. Thank you. Yeah, move. Yeah, move to adjourn. So moved. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Aye. Thanks, Charity Grace. Okay. Aye. Thank you. Aye.